Okay, hi everybody, this is Mr. Manning, and this video is going to be about petty cash reports. So, a couple things that you might want to have available to you. Uh, you should have access to these slides, so you'll have your own copy. And then you may also want to have um, these notes called the petty cash reports. Uh, there's just a few questions that I'm going to go over here and a couple of key terms, so you might want to fill these out. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about petty cash reports, uh, exactly what they are and so on. So, first of all, what is petty cash? So, corporations are big, right? They're really big. And a lot of times, there are things that they need to purchase that are kind of small. They don't cost a lot of money. And it's not very efficient to have to do an entire transaction for this item. So basically, um, the businesses or the corporations, they keep um, some cash on hand. And when I say cash, I mean real cash, like paper money. They actually keep some cash on hand. Um, usually the accountant or the manager or the people that have access to this. And uh, it's probably locked up somewhere. And then whenever somebody that, you know, an employee at the business needs to purchase something that is small, they actually will request to use petty cash. So um, the accountant or the manager would get the petty cash out for the exact amount that the uh, employee needs, and then they use that money to buy it, buy something. Now, the reason this is important, though, is even though it is a small amount of money, you still have to record the transaction um, eventually. You know, you can't spend money without um, tracking it. So um, let's talk a little bit about why accountants use it. I already kind of mentioned it, but it's it's mainly for efficiency. Uh, it just simply would not be very efficient or, or uh, uh, time or cost effective if you recorded an actual transaction in the journals and in the ledgers for every single small item that needs to be purchased. What is considered a small payment? Now, every business is different. You know, what one big corporation considers a small payment, another corporation might not. But I think a good kind of rule of thumb is any transaction that is $20 or less, there's definitely going to be exceptions to that sometimes. But we're talking about small amounts of money. Um, what are some things that petty cash might be used for? So I think probably food is one of the most popular things. Um, and generally this, this would be like if you were uh, taking a client or a customer out to dinner or you're having food brought in for some sort of meeting. Uh, maybe you're throwing some kind of party for the employees uh, and you need to purchase food. So petty cash would be a good reason to use that. Um, small office supplies that you need to get immediately, so like pens, paper clips, staples. Um, most big corporations would order these things in bulk, but if if you run out and you need it and there's not time to like make a big order, then you could use petty cash and just run out to the nearest office supply store. Uh, postage, parking, you know, maybe you're going on some sort of client meeting and you have to park in a garage and you have to pay for that parking and so on. So those are just some examples. So how is petty cash actually used? So once you get the approval, and I'm talking from the employee's point of view, I guess kind of the accountant's point of view too, but once you get the approval to use petty cash for something, um, you fill out what's called a petty cash slip. And you're going to do that in the next activity. I'll have a video about that as well. Uh, but you fill out this thing called a petty cash slip, and the petty cash slip basically says, um, you know, who you are, what date it is, why you are using petty cash, and the amount of money that you actually need. Okay? You then put that petty cash slip into the petty cash box, or the thing that's holding all the money. Uh, sometimes it could be like a safe, or, a, or one of those lock boxes, or, or whatever. Um, but you put that slip into the box, and then in place of the slip, you take out the money that you need. The transaction is not immediately recorded. So unlike other transactions that accountants have to record, this one is not immediately recorded. There is this thing called a petty cash report. 
this is any time that the petty cash fund needs to be replenished. Okay, so the petty cash fund is the amount of money that is actually in petty cash. Once again, for Corpor for different corporations, this could be different amounts of money. One corporation might keep $100 in petty cash. Another one might keep $250. Another one might keep $500. However, there's going to be a certain amount that when it gets below that amount, you're going to have to officially replenish petty cash. And when you do, you fill out one of these things called a petty cash report. Now, how do you do this? You take all of the slips that are inside of petty cash. Remember back on this slide, we talked about that you have to fill out a slip anytime you want to use petty cash. So the accountant takes all those slips that are in the, in the petty cash box and they record them in the petty cash report. So they might say, okay, June 7th, we purchased food for $18.43. And on June 9th, we went to uh, Office Depot and bought staples and uh, paper clips, and it cost $12.31. And they're, they're going to have like this list of uh, all of the things that are on the petty cash uh, slips. Um, the reason they do this is this allows the accountant to determine if the petty cash fund is accurate or not or if it has what's called a cash short or a cash over. So let's talk a little bit about what those things are. So let's say you're getting ready to replenish the petty cash fund. It has dropped below the amount that you have determined is too low. So you're gonna put more money back in it and you fill out all of the slips or you, you record all the slips and you determine that you should have let's say $17.50 in the petty cash fund. And then you actually count the amount of money that's in there and it is not $17.50. If you um, have less than $17.50, so you have less than the amount that you should, it's called a cash short. If you have more than you should, it's called a cash over. So. Sometimes you get lucky and it's exactly perfect and you have exactly that 1750 or whatever it is you're looking for. But a lot of times people simply make mistakes. You know, they might fill out the petty cash slip incorrectly. They might take a little bit too much money. They might not take enough. They might have some change and they throw it back into petty cash. There's a lot of reasons why the amounts would be off. So this allows the accountant to determine do we have a cash short or a cash over. Once you have filled out the petty cash report and you have replenished the money back in there, you record that transaction into the cash payments journal. You've done some transactions already in cash payments. If you think about it, it kind of makes sense because you are going to be paying cash back to the petty cash fund. So you have to act like that cash is going to, going to other people. So it's a cash payment. Okay. Uh, in the next video, we will talk about how to actually fill out the form and what the transaction for the cash payments journal looks like.